In today's video, we're going to talk about an easier way of sorting your brass when you come back from the range. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed, so if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we'd like to thank all of our watchers and subscribers for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. But today we want to talk a little bit about brass management. Once you get back from the range, you want to sort it all out. And for people that are reloaders or people that are recyclers, um, we've, we've got a tool here that some might find a little bit easier for going through that process. Um, it can be a little bit of a hassle sorting brass, so we're hoping that this will show you something a little bit easier. So to start with, we have these trays that uh, uh, they come in three different colors, yellow, blue, and black, and you stack them in that particular orientation from the lighter color to the, the darker to the darkest, and then all you're going to do is throw your brass in. Uh, just for simplicity's sake today, we're just going to be using two types of brass, uh, 38 Special and 308. Um, this works on all different calibers of brass, not just these, but we want to make our lives simpler more than more complicated, and this at least gives you the idea of how this works. Okay, so once you've put the brass into the tray, what you're going to want to do is just like pick up all three, and what you're going to be doing is shake it around just like you're panning for gold. Now, these larger caliber, the, the yellow tray is going to be picking up calibers like 308, 45, and 44 Magnum. And anything that's smaller than that is just going to fall through on the tray below. Now, this one happened to catch all of the 38s. And you're going to see that this particular blue tray is going to catch 38s, 357s, 40 calibers. And then everything smaller than that is going to fall through to the bottom tray. Like 223, 380, 9 millimeter. So you're basically going to be using the, the trays to break these down into smaller calibers to make them much easier. And, you know, I've got a setup at home where I go through these one at a time and, you know, break it down and throw the individual calibers into other buckets. And we'll show you some pictures kind of on my setup, how I do this at home. Now, they're not terribly expensive. They're fairly easy to find. Uh, if, you want to, if you're interested in this sort of product, check the description box down below. We'll put up a link for where I got these and for other products. So we want to thank you all for coming on in, joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.